this is this is everything. I didn't hit that. All I did was took a picture of a water bottle, put it in front of this camera, pretended to swing my leg at it, which probably took me about 30 times to even get it level here. Then the rest is just editing. So if you're interested in how it's done, let's get down to the studio. Beautiful. All right, so I got three shots here. Only three shots. I've got one of me kicking, another one of a bottle with no cap to it, and another one of another bottle, or the same bottle, with the cap on it. Those are the three shots you'll need, and that is it. So if you've been on this channel for a while and you're looking at me thinking, wow, Ollie really put on some weight, uh, I just got four wisdom teeth taken out, which is why I'm looking like a hamster at the moment, and it's pretty freaking swollen. But if you are new here, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about creativity and affordability in filmmaking. So if that's something that you're into, consider subscribing. Otherwise, let's get into the same thing that Jason Statham, Ryan Reynolds, Logan Paul, David Dobrik, and tons of other people are doing, and there's absolutely no way that I could do it. It's kind of why I just find out how to fake it. So getting into this, I'm going to show you guys how to do a basic version and then I'm going to give you a few extra tips to make it look way better. So first thing you're going to do on the bottom layer, your main timeline, is you're going to put the shot of you kicking. Then on top of that, you're going to add a layer of the bottle without the bottle cap. On top of that is going to be a layer with the bottle with the bottle cap. And we're going to do all our animation to the bottle cap and then a little bit more to that afterwards. Here is my shot without the bottle cap and I had to draw a mask around because I've got my normal shot here. I drew a mask just around the bottle. Then my next shot is, all that is, is just the bottle cap. So if I disable my layer below that, you'll see that actually this shot is just the cap of the bottle. Now it's extremely important here that you do not get the plastic around just underneath the cap as well, the bit that secures it in place. Do not add that into the mask. So now you've got your masks added to those, you wanna make sure that you're getting all those to the same color. You don't want your bottles to stand out from the rest of your shot as if it's too dark, too light, too highly saturated. Get it just right. Now, you're gonna to go to the point in your clip where you actually kick the bottle. So I've left a marker point down here to where I kick, which is just here. And this is where you're gonna start your animation. So it depends on you and how you want to do this, but I'm gonna show you what I did. If I click on my third layer here, this is going to be the one with just the red cap like this. I've done some keyframing on the Y axis. A bit after that, the X axis, the rotation and the scale. So if I open up my transform tools, you'll start to see the keyframes on my shot here. If I go frame by frame, you'll see here we go up on the Y axis and then we come across to the left on the X axis and then we start to go all the way down to the bottom left and you see how we've got some rotation and the scale is decreasing as well. And you see I've added a little bit of rotation as well as the bottle comes off the top, just to, you know, a little bit of fanciness. Now this is where you can get a little bit fancy. If you click on your keyframes, you'll have these little toggle points that come up. If they don't come up, just right click on it and click smooth. With these toggle points, you can start to manipulate the rate at which you go from one parameter to the next parameter. So in this case, I'm going from X and Y parameter, whatever this is, all the way to X and Y parameter down here. And for me, I want to speed that up gradually over time. So I've stretched out my toggle point here, rather than it being stuck up here somewhere, I've pulled it out down here, and that allows that time period to be longer and allows it to almost like ramp up in speed. So that's how you manipulate that, but how do you make it look even better, even more realistic? First thing we're gonna do is add some motion blur to, or some directional blur to the bottle cap. You're gonna make it look like it's rotating or spinning really fast. So I've just gone to my effects, drag that effect onto here, and I go to when I first kick the bottle, I'm gonna set a keyframe point, the amount all the way down at zero, and then I'm gonna ramp up over just like a single frame, that's how quickly it's gonna speed up, and then, speed up very gradually again over time. And then that's how you get the that kind of stretch looking and see we've got that blur. If I turn this off and then back on again, you'll see how you've got that blur around the bottle cap. That gives it the effect of spinning and the camera can't keep up. Now next thing, notice how if I just go through this frame by frame, notice the bottle doesn't have any kind of reflection in it and you would normally expect some kind of reflection, especially because this is a clear plastic bottle. We don't have anything. Really quick and easy way to do that. Grab your bottom layer, press Alt, and drag that all the way to the top. To have that all at the top, 
We're going to add a mask around the bottle area in this shot. Uh, just around here, not around any of the plastics at the top, the red plastic, just around the clear plastic bottling. And then we're going to open up our mask and we're going to drop the opacity all the way down to just below 10 or whatever you think looks good for your shot. And it gives that effect as if you've got the reflection behind the bottle. But in actual fact, it's in front of the bottle. We've just dropped the opacity down so much that it barely shows. Final two points here. You're going to grab your two shots, your two bottle cap shots. Alt G on your keyboard, turn those into a compound clip, or if you're on Premiere Pro, a pre-composite clip. And then we're gonna to go to the effects in the bottom right and just search for handheld. Drag that onto your shot. And then you can play around with the shakiness and the distance, but we've got to keyframe it first. The whole point of this effect is to give it that look as if the bottle is moving a little bit as we kick it. So I'm gonna to go to the point that I kick the bottle here, put the shakiness all the way down, get a keyframe point. And then next frame, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna bring it up very high because I am that pro, remember? Barely touched it. And then over time, maybe like five, six, seven frames, I'm gonna bring it all the way back down to zero again as if the bottle is no longer wobbling around. Finally, just start adding a few sound effects. I just recorded a few here, a bottle caps dropping and whatnot, and that's it. Man, I probably shouldn't have done this video yet because my, my face is hurting a lot. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Let me know what you thought of it in the below comments below. Do you think it's a real thing that people are doing or do you think it's fully fake? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope to see you again and thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do and I'll see you guys in the next one.